Hello friends and welcome. I'm Sarah Liz and I am so excited to share these cards with you today. This is part of the new release from Trinity Stamps and we have some peeps on parade. So this is the Squishy Bunny card maker die set, right? And it cuts out this very familiar bunny shape and it's a mini slimline card. Okay, it's about three inches by six inches. So I've added mine onto my little waffle flower grip mat um, because we're gonna do some inking and then we're gonna do some paste, messy stuff. You guys, I don't like messes, but this was totally worth it and very quick and easy. So I wanted to create a rainbow across this card. And so I always start with my yellow because otherwise it tends to get lost. I'm only gonna use three colors. So I took that yellow, through the middle and then a little bit into the top, a little bit into the bottom. When I bring my pink from the top, where it overlaps, I get this beautiful sort of peachy orange. And then on the bottom, I'll add my teal. I'm gonna have to come back in with my yellow, but that's okay. And I'll get a nice teal at the bottom and then that green in the middle. I love that green. I'm gonna come back in one more time with my yellow. I just felt like I needed a little bit more um, of the green showing up. And then once my inking is done, we can add some paste. I am using the Dina Wakely Gel Medium, but it's just what I had in my stash. I don't know about you, but I have an entire shelf of pastes, many of which I rarely use. So this was fun. I got to use a product that I <laughs> kind of forgot that I had. I put it over kind of the top of the bunny and then I'm using my scraper tool just to create a really thin, even layer. If there are lumps and bumps, you do see them when this is dry. So I'm gonna peel everything off. I'm gonna take the mess out of the way and I'm gonna add some rock candy distress glitter. This does not have any color to it. It's not iridescent or anything like that. It will not change the color of the inking behind it, though it will soften it. You guys, it looks like sugar. It just <laughs> looks like a bunny covered in sugar. So I am gonna keep the front of this one pretty simple. I really just want that texture, a little bit of shine, that candy feel to show through. So I'm adding the eyes and the nose. And then I also did one accidentally, you guys, this was an accident, <laughs> it was just white. I went to make this card and I had to pick up my kids in like 30 minutes. And so I had every intention of inking a rainbow on it and I just forgot, <laughs> like whatever. So anyway, I let it dry. Um, it does have a little pink spot on it. I must have gotten a little bit of ink in there, but I thought it was a really great opportunity to show you how I can batch stamp these. Honestly, it might've been better to stamp them first. I don't want that glitter touching the sticky mat in my Misty. I don't want the glitter to come off and I don't want it to ruin my mat. So I just put a little piece of scratch paper under one side and I have wedged this into the negative that I cut it out of. So I can stamp them both, but only have to position the stamp once. This Happy Easter has the best font. It's sort of chunky and playful. It comes from the Hip Hop Hooray stamp set. It's just a little guy and it's got some super cute bunnies in there as well. I'm gonna stamp that a couple of times in some black ink and then I can bring in the second one and set it right into the negative piece as well. And I know that my stamp is perfectly positioned. Um, so I might make, <laughs> I might make a bunch of these to stick around the house for my kids on Easter. I just think they're so much fun. So I have two sugary, glittery bunny cards. Um, and I hope you'll give that one a try. It's quick. It's easy, really fun. For this next one, we are gonna make a St. Patrick's Day bunny card. Off camera, I have already cut out some shamrocks um, and I knew I wanted that green to be a stark contrast to the white. So I'm being careful as I go up towards the ears, I wanna leave some white showing and I'm using a sort of medium limey green in the middle and I'll come down into the bottom a fair bit. I just want things to blend nice and smoothly. Then I'll bring in the next darkest shade in my green inks and I'll come in um, and blend that bottom. I love these bunnies as a quick project for me, um, but I also am gonna cut a bunch of these out for my kids because they're gonna love decorating them and giving them to their friends. It's so like kid friendly and I love that about it. This is a new die set called Leprechaun Loot. <laughs> it has this pot of gold and it's interactive. You wouldn't have to, 
but of course I'm gonna go for interactive every single time. The yellow piece slides in and out of the pot and I've cut it from some pale yellow cardstock. And then I use just a tiny scrap of some gold foil cardstock to cut the coins. There are little debossed details in that yellow piece to show you where to put your coins. I used it as a starter, right? And then I just started adding extra coins to make it look nice and shiny and full. I will set that guy aside to dry while I go back to working on my bunny. Here are those shamrocks that come in the leprechaun loot set. And I'm gonna add three of them to his ear on the left. They're gonna hang off just a little bit and we'll trim them off. And I love how that makes it feel like it's really sort of wrapping around part of his squishy body. Um, so funny story, one of my favorite aunts um, went back to school. She went to culinary school as an adult. I think she was in her 40s. And around Easter, she snuck into their kitchens and put peeps everywhere, like bunny peeps and the little chick peeps. And she just left them all over the kitchen and people kept finding them for ages. And so to me, I think of that every time <laughs> I look at this die set and it just, it makes me laugh so hard. Okay, so I have some black glossy cardstock from Trinity. And then I have this real treasure stamp set. And then if you get the coordinating dies, there are also hot foil plates for the two big scripty greetings. And one of them says pot of gold. I love foiling onto glossy cardstock. I always get perfect results every single time. And so I will peel that away and you can see how beautifully shiny that is. It foiled perfectly. I'm gonna cut this out using the pot, but there is then a die that cuts really closely around that scripty greeting. You could do that too. So I have two pots. One is just black cardstock, one is this black glossy cardstock, and I'm gonna kind of put this over top of some white just to make it easier to see. I'm gonna add foam tape around the edge of the pot, but I have my gold slidey piece in there to make sure that it's still gonna fit. Okay, so I just have some really, really thin black foam strips. And you can see where I put it. There is some on the feet of the pot. It's hard to see, but it's there just for stability. And then I will hold it in my hand and use my fingers to get everything kind of lined up before I squish it together and then it's stuck on there for good. And the gold just slides like beautifully in and out of that pot. I'm gonna add this on to the edge of my bunny. And so I just kind of laid it over the top, eyeballed where I wanted it. And then I'm holding my fingers very carefully on those two little edge spots. So I know where my glue should go and I don't end up just gluing this to my work mat. So then I thought I needed to stamp a little something on my slider piece, right? It's, if you're gonna pull it out, I want it to say something. And so there's a little stamp in here that says wishing you a, so it's wishing you a pot of gold. And I will stamp that a couple of times, just kind of in the middle there. You could stamp pull or something like that on here, just use the paper crafting magic stamp set, but I, it wiggles a little bit. I think they'll know to pull that even without it. I was pretty much done and I was like, nope, I'm gonna stamp the inside. <laughs> so I put it in my Misty. There's a little scrap paper um, where my glossy cardstock is with that foiling. I don't want the sticky of my mat to pick that up at all. But there's another stamp in that set that says, and all the joy your heart can hold. And I just love it so much. So it says, wishing you a pot of gold and all the joy your heart can hold. And I just think it's so, so sweet. This one is going to my mom who loves St. Patrick's Day. And I think she's gonna get a real kick out of that. We're gonna make one more bunny today. And I wanted to put a little texture on this yellow guy. So I'm gonna fold him first because I only want to stamp the front, make my life a little bit easier, and I'm going to tape him shut. The stamp is not big enough to stamp the entire bunny at the same time, but we're going to add some accessories. Um, and this little middle part right where the head meets the body is going to get covered up. So I've positioned it so just the body is overlapping the stamp. And then I'm going to secure him to the door of my Misty. I, you could do this the other way around, but this is what made sense in my head at the time. I'm gonna ink up my stamp with some white pigment ink, and then I will just press the bunny down into that ink. I'll use my pressure tool. I don't wanna to have to stamp this twice because I am notoriously bad at lining up fine detail patterns. And then that's the pattern that we get, right? Isn't that fun? 
I'm going to flip my bunny over and position him very carefully so that I'm stamping the top half of my bunny. Again, I'm going to secure him to my door. It will fit just fine, like hanging out the top of your Misty using it traditionally, but this seemed a little easier, less likely to move on me. I'll ink that up with some white pigment ink again, press it firmly down in there, and I could not have asked for a better impression. Yes, when you look at it right now, you can see the tiny, tiny little gap where they meet up, but we're going to use the Springtime Gnome die set to decorate this bunny. I will say this is like my third incarnation as a crafter. I've been a, a card maker, a dedicated card maker for a couple of years now, but in my previous crafty lives, um, I've made similar things not out of paper. And my general philosophy is to just keep adding more stuff until it looks ridiculous and then add some more and it will look ridiculously cute. So that's what I'm going for here. There is like a gnome face and feet and stuff. You can create the most adorable little gnomes. So then I thought it would be absolutely hilarious to add bunny ears to my bunny. Um, and then I'll just add the eyes here. Those bunny ears are in the gnome set. There's also like a little pot of gold and there's Easter eggs that we're gonna add at the bottom. There's a pot of flowers. It, there's so many options, it's super, super versatile. And I am just giddy about it. Like I have plans to use those gnome pieces on all kinds of other die sets. I love to mix and match and maybe use things kind of as they weren't intended. That's the fun of it, right? The joy and creativity. I cut a bunch of the Easter eggs from the gnome set out of some pattern paper and I am adding those to the bottom. I am kind of creating a straight line. I'm using my grid to make sure that it can stand up on display a little easier. Then I cut Happy Easter out using the dies in the Squishy Bunny set and I put some rip and stick sheet behind them. The Happy stayed in the die and then I was able to remove that backing paper so I can just hold the Happy on there, poke it out with my little pokey tool here and it's perfectly placed. The Easter I had to sort of separate from the die but again I just put the sticker part on my pickup tool and it's easy enough to line that up and it finishes up Card number three, my friends, in total, I made five cards. I have another one with the ears and the bunny set. I would love to know which of these is your favorite. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and I will see you next time.